This is a statue of a Abraham Owen Smoot. And in tw the year 2015, the Smoot family uh, hosted a family reunion. And at that time, they decided they wanted to have a statue uh, to commemorate A.O. Smoot and all that he did for the church. And so they have a life-size statue like this. It's located in the library over in Provo. Uh, they didn't know where to put it, but they ended up putting it in. It's inside in the library. But uh, A.O. Smoot was Richard Smoot Nixon's great-grandfather, as was James William Nixon I. And um, his mother was a granddaughter through through uh, her mother was Agnes May Smoot. And Agnes May Smoot was a full sister to Senator Smoot, who served in the Senate for so many years and was controversial in, in so many things, but was a great senator. If uh, people really delved into what he accomplished uh, and, ex and uh, saw the things that he did, they would, they would uh, uh, stole him rather than condemn him, like some have said that he was the cause of the Depression. Did you know that? There's some that said that the Smoot-Hawley bill is what caused the Depression. Uh, you know, history is only written by, in the context of the person that writes it. And, uh, but anyway, that's neither here nor there, but. But uh, uh, Agnes May was one of uh, Reed's favorite siblings. He, he thought a lot of Agnes. And, um, and so not only have I been involved in Nixon research, but I've also been involved in Smoot research. And I've, I've helped to write a book on A.O. Smoot. Uh, to have it pre uh, the events of his life preserved for his posterity. But he ties into the Maxfield family through Emily. He first married Margaret uh, McMeans in far west Missouri, but when they tr eventually ended up in Nauvoo and polygamy was, uh, had come to the forefront, he married Emily Harris and Sarah Gibbons at the same time in the uh, same day in the Nauvoo t Temple. And he later uh, divorced Sarah, but Emily had two children by her, her former husband, uh, Harris. What was his, was his name William also? I'm not sure right off. Exactly. But they had, she had two children, Emma, uh, Artemisia, Harris and William Jasper Harris and Artemisia married Richard Mansfield and that's how the and they were adopted children of of uh, A.O. Smoot that's how they tie into the family but it's it's a great heritage just as the Nixons is a great heritage is a great heritage and they can be proud of the of who who they are tell us a little bit about what he did uh, A.O. Smoot uh, was born in uh, Tennessee, Henry County, Tennessee, in eight, I think he was about the, well, he's older than, than uh, quite a bit older than uh, James William Nixon, but um, he was converted to the gospel in 1835 and uh, became a missionary companion to Wilford Woodruff. And they traveled throughout Tennessee and had some wonderful uh, missionary experiences together. And they became lifetime friends. Throughout their life, they remained f friends. And then uh, A.L. Spoot uh, immigrated into Nauvoo. He took a, a group of, of immigrants from the southern states to uh, to far west, actually, and then in uh, in 1838, during the Exodus, he he left and went to Nauvoo, and uh, became uh, active. I think he was a policeman in in Nauvoo, but.
but be, uh, in, uh, he became more prominent when he was selected to be a, a leader to lead a, a, a group of saints from uh, Illinois to Utah. Actually, uh, they let, went first to, uh, to Iowa, and then he uh, became a leader and uh, came on to Utah. And then while he was in Utah, he became quite well known. He was uh, uh, active politically. He became the second mayor of Salt Lake City. Uh, he took the place of Jedediah Grant, who had, was killed. And I think he was mayor for about, this is just off the top of my head, for about 10 years. Uh, and then in 1869, Brigham Young called him to go to Provo to st straighten out the mess that was in Provo. <laughs> there was a lot of uh, rowdiness and, and uh, discord, and so he was sent to, to go to Provo. To, and this was in 69, he was made mayor and also the president of the Utah stake, which was equal to being a stake president. And he served in that capacity until the time he died. And he was instrumental in, in, uh, in seeing to it that the BYU succeeded. Uh, when the uh, uh, buildings were being uh, uh, built, he, he put forth financial help to a great degree in order to see to that, that the BYU uh, didn't fail. So uh, we can be proud of A.L. Smoot and his, what he did. He had a strong, he was faithful, he had a strong testimony, and he didn't, his, his um, motto was uh, study things out, know that you're right, is, is how he put it, know that you're right, and then go straight ahead. And then make sure of your facts, and then don't hesitate. Do what you have to do. So that, that's a good thing to follow. A.O. Smoot, we love you. Yeah. Isn't, that, isn't the administration building at BYU? Yes, and that... And, that. Let's say that, and, and wasn't there a fire, and then he had to finance his whole... Yeah, that, that was that, that he had. Just tell, tell about tell that. The, 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 well, it was in the seventies that, that they he started in the, in one of the buildings, and I can't remember the name of the building. That it was there in in downtown Provo, and and it burned to the ground, and he uh, went and and within twenty four hours he arranged to have classes here and classes there and classes in his facilities so that the students wouldn't lose uh, time in, in their studies. And then he was instrumental in helping to build the, the uh, new college there on University Avenue. So, and he put a lot of his savings. In fact, when he died, his, his uh, estate was in debt because of the amount of money that he had put into the BYU.